Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you for asking. Um, I just, I just wanted to check right now the information. I didn't know if you received a text message in the group of WhatsApp saying, Buenas noches. Se les informa que clase de esta noche se canceló. Lastimosamente, nuestro teacher tuvo una emergencia familiar. Mañana les informaremos cuándo sería la programación. Eso mm. eh, les cayó ahí, ¿verdad? No. No. Uh oh. En el Intermediate 3, en el WhatsApp group, no, right? No. This is Intermediate 2, right? Okay. So, yes, I thought that it was this class, but no, it was the previous class. So, yes, that I was waiting for someone to appear. I pensé que a ustedes les había caído eso, pero no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, right now we're going to start with the class. Um, Yesterday, do you remember the class from yesterday, yesterday's class? So, we were talking about holidays yesterday. Holidays, exactly. And the grammar, do you remember the grammar? The grammar? Yeah, the grammar, oh, well. like relative clauses of time, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So we are going to uh, check some information about that uh, just as a review. And then we're going to talk about the new topic, okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, Let's see if somebody else joins the class. Uh, I guess I'd have here like a game, but I think that it will be better if you watch it. And yes, okay. it is here. Okay. Okay, so it says wrap up or warm up time clauses. Okay, let's see here. Are you able to see it? Yeah, you are sharing the screen. Okay. It says, are used to indicate when something happens in the past, present, or future. Which one is it? Tomorrow, morning, before, after, before, when, often, after, after while. Before, when. Let me see. No! Very oh, yeah. good, yes. Yeah. Very yeah, okay. good, exactly. Let's see next one. After, before, and when are sentences, clauses, subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunction. Okay, let's see. Closes. Very good. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice. Really, nice. really yes. nice. Yes, closes. Really nice. It's uh, with more words, right? Very good. Let's see next one. After, before, and when introduced sentences, dependent clauses, independent clauses. Dependent clauses. Dependent clauses? Yes. Let's see. Very good. Dependent clauses. Very good. Next one. It says bonus round. I will choose any. <laughs> okay, plus 50 puntos, points, right?
Okay, number four. The subordinating conjunctions after, before, and when can appear at the beginning and the middle of a sentence, in the middle and at the end of a sentence, at the beginning and at the end of a sentence. Minute eight. Let's see. Very good, Kimberly. You're on fire. Really good. Let's see the next one. The dependent clauses introduced by after, before, and when are called relative clauses, independent clauses, adverb clauses. I guess it's adverb clauses. Adverb clauses. Let's see. Very good, Kimberly. Very good. It is kind of, they are kind of hard. Very good. Six, we almost finished. Let's see. Complete the sentence. I brush my teeth before I get up, when I get up, after I get up. After. After, let's see. Very good, <laughs> perfect. Mm. After I get up. We almost finished, let's see. Okay, seven. Complete the sentence. When, before, after we board the plane, we need to go through security. Before? <laughs> before, right at zero, right? It was before. After. Okay. I know it after, the top of it. And the last one, complete the sentence. I love to eat popcorn when, before, after I go to the cinema. When? Let's see when. When, yeah. Very good, perfect. Only one missing, but it was really good. Okay, perfect. Very good. We practice a little bit. And yes, I guess this is a questionnaire, but we are not going to complete it. Probably tomorrow, right? Probably. I will look for more activities like this. Now, um, let me see here. Do you still have any question about our relative clauses or, I'm sorry, not relative clauses, uh, time contrast? or adverbial clauses with when or with this one when after before now how to use it no questions no okay perfect so we are going to begin with uh, the new unit. I guess this is section four, right? Um, I think that we are almost finishing, but I will try to look for more information 
since we have only one week left and also um some of the last two days right of february so an activity for tomorrow is to describe your city like looking for information about the past and how it was created how do you think it's going to be in the future so for example if you live in san salvador or in san miguel try to look for or, or ask someone right how was the city before or why do you how do you think the city was before you were born like 20 50 100 years ago how is right now and how do you think it's going to be in the future right so for that reason i will show you that um this vocabulary that we are going to check here today i think that we are going to talk about the future and also a contrast with the past so we're going to check vocabulary to write this homework para escribir este esta tarea vamos a ocupar este vocabulario so let me see here oh my god it's not loading Yes, let me load it again. Yeah, for some reason it's not loading. Okay, I will use the, the other link. Let me see here. Yeah, it seems that something happened with the link. But I will try to look for it. I don't know what happened, but it's just showing like a white a white screen. But I will look for uh, the vocabulary for you to write your homework. Actually, we are going to check some vocabulary today about the cities. So uh, this was just some flashcards that I have prepared. But it's, it seems that it's not working for some reason. But I will look for them tomorrow, or I will try to look for more vocabulary tomorrow. And we are going to begin with this part, right? With only time will tell. Uh, do you know what that phrase means? Only time will tell. Solo el tiempo lo dirá. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Solo el tiempo lo dirá. Only time will tell. Solo el tiempo, right? Or only God knows also. So uh, it says discuss life in different times. Discuss consequences. So that's what we're going to uh, learn right now. Discuss life and discuss, discuss consequences. So we have education. We have work. We have transportation. And we have past, present, and future. For education in the past, the new thing was printed books, right? Blackboards uh, with, with chalks, right? Um, now we have ebooks, we have digital content, and in the future, probably we will have virtual classrooms or learning pills. Actually, we already have our virtual classrooms because we are connected virtually, right? So that's something that is happening right now, nowadays. Work. In the past, the new thing was time clocks, assembly line, and now uh, frequent frequent career changes and multiple workplaces. So people uh, before uh, only chose one career and that's it. And now we can change, right? We can move on from one career to another. 
And in the future, people think that it's going to, we're going to have intelligent robots in two hour wor uh, work day. Like two hours, like working only for two hours. So that would be a, a great change for a lot of people. Transportation. Um, transportation we have in the past, steam trains, trains de vapor, right? Steam trains. And we have ocean liners, ocean liners. Liners some is uh, ocean liners is like uh the Titanic, right? Have you have you watched that movie? Ya vieron esa película? Titanic. Oh yeah. Yes. So that is like an ocean liner, an ocean liner. A terrible that, movie. By the a way. Ter <laughs> a terrible movie. <laughs> Yeah, so it is. It's in the movie theater again. If you want to watch, if you want to watch a terrible movie, right? <laughs> so, um, that's an ocean liner. That's that was the trans transportation before. That's how people used to travel from Europe to America, um, in the eighteen hundreds, right? Líneas el transatlánticos, right? And in the present, we have non-polluting vehicles like electrical cars, right? and shared cars and now in the future probably we will have driverless cars and teleportation uh teleportation probably but i'm not sure about that right so how do you think is going to be the future tanya for example how do you think that as uh, something that we have right now uh is going to change in the future for example food or I don't know, computers, uh, we are not going to have, I don't know, to travel to our job anymore. We are going to work from home. What do you think is going to be the future, Tanya? Mm, the trans transportation, the future. Okay, um, what, what is the change that we are going to have in the future? The future... Um, and the haunt, the haunt, and well, no, sé. no sé qué más puede ser del futuro. <laughs> Solo se me viene pocas I can eat, Mr. O solo soy yo. I que no lo puedo escuchar. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. I I was on mute. But uh, Tanya, do you think you said that transportation will be a change in the future? Do you think that we are going to have more buses or less buses? Más buses or menos buses? What do you think, Tanya? We are going to have more the buses. Mass, the mass or, bus. Yeah. No, more no, buses no. or less mass buses? Bus the trains. Trains, uh -huh, probably. Mm -hmm. And we are going to have more cars or less cars? Mm, the more cars. More cars. Pero, Pro, uh, yes. Or aeroplane. The cars and aeroplane. <laughs> In airplanes. Yeah, uh -huh. probably. Probably we probably. are going to have yeah, probably. Uh, right now we have a lot of cars, right? But different, um, I've noticed that different cities, they have less cars and more transportation like bicycles, like from cities from Europe, they have this kind of uh, transportation. They move more with bicycles or walking and they have less cars. That would be really good because here in El Salvador, I guess that we are a very small country and we have a lot of cars. So I guess that is that is a, a problem that we had. Uh, let's see, Elida, how do you see the future? What's going to what's going to happen in the future? What do you think that changes so, will be? About transportation, I have been waiting for flying cars in this moment. Flying cars, exactly. I don't want to flying. die and without see a flying car in the air. Okay, do you it's like uh, airplanes? Yeah, but but flying cars, you know. 
<laughs> it yeah, is like a, be... you can avoid the traffic on, on the road on the road in or on the street with a flying car yeah you know <laughs> yeah, and about the education i consider that I have the advantage and the opposite to that so it is because uh when i remember when i was a child Mm -hmm. I had to go. I had to go to the bookstore and search a lot of information on books and read a lot of of books to get uh two two lines of information, two phrases of information sometimes. And now it's just only copy and paste, and they 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 didn't read and nothing about the information. Yeah, it, it it is like it's not correct. I consider that the we had a lot of tools, but we don't use the tools in in a correct way for the education in these times. In the future, it could be worse. So I consider <laughs> that you had to get a lot of uh, TikTokers and influencers <laughs> speaking about the things that they didn't know. They didn't that they doesn't know anything. They don't know. For that reason, yeah, I, I consider that, for example, when I was a, a child, mm -hmm. I used to see uh, a lot of people uh, on coffee shops or bakery, 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 mm -hmm. study with the books a lot for mm -hmm. two hours, three hours, trying to trying to learn a lot of things. And right now it's like, oh, I don't want to study. Oh, don't study, don't problem. And it's a problem yeah. for the education, I think. So in about our work, um, well, technology and humans. So I consider that the um, in, robot invasion, it, it may be possible in the future. So it is because okay. you all the time are using your phone. And when when you get some some app or some tool new, you are using like a zombie. You don't think about nothing the 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 information that you are receiving in that moment. For that reason, I consider that it's so possible. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's totally true. And well, people reach mm -hmm, um. How can I say that without being rude? <laughs> uh, so they do not consider that humans and money okay if they they have to make a decision between human and spend money to save to save the money they are going to trust in in machines and robots yeah and for that reason i consider that maybe in the future uh, it could be a big quantity of people without employees without a, a job for that reason yeah probably yeah. very good very good points of view very interesting yeah, yeah actually <laughs> it, yes it is true right what you said is true education what before right when we we didn't have internet we have to go to the libraries and look for a piece of information and read a lot of things and now as you said the the tools we have it there but we don't know how to use it sometimes People are just lazy. And also, um, uh, yes, the AI, right, the artificial intelligence also, uh, it is more and more related to our daily life that we don't notice it. And as you said, it's sometimes it's kind of worried because we don't know what is going to happen. Some people have said also that uh, in, ten, in 100 years, we're going to know how this technology and social media affects us. So, yeah, actually, it is true. It's really interesting. Very good. Perfect. Kimberly Lopez, what do you think is going to be like the changes in the future from the past? How the time has changed? Well, I think in the streaming, mm -hmm. in the past, we, we had to rent the DVD or the, we have this thing, what is the name? VHS. I don't yes, know. V VCR or VHS, yes. Yes, and they change for DVDs 
and now we have the streaming and the platform we can use and we can watch whatever we want and this is the thing that change with the time exactly and do you think that movie theater theaters are going to disappear or not not because uh, are many people enjoy to see movies in the cinema yes do you like uh do, do you still go to the movie theater or the cinema or do you do you prefer to stay at home and watch movies no i like i like to go to cinema okay very good yes actually i like it too I don't know if it is going to disappear one day, right? And but I like it. I, I think that I watch more movies in the movie theater than in my house because in my house I do a lot of things. I, I have to go to work, I have to get out get outside, I have to do different things, and I don't have time to watch the platforms, but I still pay, right? So I'm paying and I'm not watching <laughs> anything. But yes, yeah, probably the movie theater is not hopefully it's not going to die. It's something different. Very good, Kimberly. Yeah. Very good point of view. Irma, Raquel, are you there? Are you able to talk? Irma? Uh, good night, teacher. Acabo de entrar, ando algo perdido. <laughs> okay. We are talking about <laughs> the past, the present, and the future. Estamos hablando del pasado, el presente, y el futuro. So, how do you think, how do you think the time has changed? Like, um, what is the difference between the past, right now, the present, and how do you think it's going to be the future? ¿Cómo cree que va a ser el futuro? ¿O cómo va a cambiar? ¿Cuál, ¿Qué cosa cree que va a cambiar más? Um, el tra... um, yeah, we have transportation. I don't know if you believe that it's going to be more cars, less cars. We are going to have more computers, less computers. And uh, transportation and technology. Um, and, uh, I'm going to say this in Spanish. I'm Yes. Yes, it is true, right? Yeah, many things are true, like people uh, exercising, watching the, the screen, watching the screen. That is happening nowadays, right? Many people do different things with the screen right now. They teach or uh, they receive classes like we are doing right now. They can do exercise, like they can work out in their homes and they can watch movies and they can learn how to cook. They can learn languages. It is true. It's like super, like it, Jetson is the, the their names in English. The Supersonicos, very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, the Jetson, very good. So right now we're we're not going to go back to the Flintstones. Ya no vamos a regresar los pica piedra, verdad? No que va a ser los Supersonicos. Okay, very good. Marvin, are you there, Marvin? Are you able to speak? Yeah. Good night. Uh, good night. Good evening. Um, how do you think it's going to change uh, the 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 time, or why do you think the the main changes or the big changes that are going to happen in the future, or things that you used to have in the past or used to do in the past and you don't do anymore? I think uh, can will change uh, the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, education for I think that I think that in Spanish okay. I think that maybe they won't be used the cuadernos they will use more the computers to go to school it can be and are you studying right now? Uh, no. No. Okay. And but right now you're teaching. You're 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 learning English, right? Yes. 
Yes. And do you use any notebook or just a computer or just your cell phone? Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, you, do you use notebooks? Uh, utiliza cuadernos para apuntar algo o solo nada más la pantalla? Ah, no, uso cuadernos, uso cuadernos. Okay, real good. So you're still old school, right? You use the notebook, right? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. And what other main change do you think that is going to happen in the future or in the past that has happened? ¿Qué otro cambio cree que ha pasado o que va a pasar? Um... Creo que tal vez el, la manera de, del transporte ya se usa mucho el, el Uber y todas esas cosas. Yes, Entonces, antes exactly. exactly. And the taxi drivers are mad, right? Are angry <laughs> for Uber. Yes, it is mm -hmm. true. Uber mm -hmm. has changed the transportation because now you use the application and they uh, come to your house and everything right in. It, it's kind of safer, but yes, it is true. Applications, they have changed our lives also. Perfect, Marvin. Very good point of view. Very good um, opinion. Now, grammar. We, we, we can use grammar to express this, right? Not only in Spanish, but also in English. So, for example, if I say, um, a few years ago, there were just houses here, right? There were just houses or cafetales, right? There were just cafetales here, and now that we have houses, right? We used to go, another one, we used to go to a burger place after class every day. Soliamos, that, that's what it means, we used to go. Soliamos ir, we used to go to a burger place after, a, after class every day. In the past, actually, when I was in high school, I remember that we used to go to eat uh, lollipops, like ice pops, like paletas. They were really popular and they were really good and really cheap. Now everything is expensive, right? In the past, in the past, kids used to hang out with friends after school. So used to hang out, solían salir, brother, hang out with friends after school. So that is the meaning of used to, soler, solía. I used to go, I used to hang out, I used to eat, solía comer, I used to eat. So that is the meaning. And where, right, we can use uh, the past of the tenses. In the present, we can use the present continuous. These days, they are building lots of apartments. They are building, right? Today, people order food from their phones. That is true, right? In an application, pedidos ya. Hugo, Hugo doesn't exist anymore, right, but um i don't know what other uber eats right we can ask for food through our phones today people order food from their phones or nowadays kids only meet online so we use the present tense to talk about things that are happening right now right or the present progressive but in the future we use will and going to so it says soon there will be apartment blocks everywhere. In the future, restaurants might not exist. Might is a possibility. Might significa podría, right? In the future, restaurants might not exist. In el futuro, los restaurantes podrían no existir. Uh, we don't know. I don't think so, right? But in a few years, we are going to have virtual friends. Uh, in, in a few years, we are going to. So we are using going to to uh, express the future, right? Going to. And we're not talking about virtual friends like right now. Like, for example, if we are talking about Skype or anything, like virtual friends like uh, like uh, uh, artificial intelligence friends, right? Something like that. So we are going to complete this information with your own information, and we are going to read the statements, right? Um, so we are going to begin with Tanya. Tanya, help me to, to complete this sentence. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, yes, I can, I can write here. As a child, I used to. What do you used to do as a child, Tanya?
algo que solía hacer de niña y ya no, ya cambió. As a, as a child, I used to. I was to play football. I used to play football. Very good. So I used to play football. You, you, you used to play football? Soccer? Sí, yes. Okay. Do you still play soccer? Not anymore? Todavía? O ya no? Uh, no. Uh, no, right. For the, the husband. Oh, just your husband? No. Asthma. Asthma. Ah, you have asthma. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And but you went when you were a child, did you have asthma? No. No, no you develop uh, it with the, this, with the time. Mm, the the distance um I creo que tenía um trece años <laughs> cuando, um, cuando desarrollé asthma. <laughs> oh, okay, so it was oh I didn't know that you you can develop asthma. No sabía que podía desarrollar asthma uno. But okay. So when you were a child, you used to play football and you don't play it anymore. You stop playing. Okay, very good. That's something that, that changed, right? Very good. Let's see. Elida, help me create number two. Five years ago, what happened five years ago? Where were you five years ago in okay, the past? Five years ago, I used to have a lot of relationships. A lot of relationships? A love relationship. Ah, a love relationship. Okay, very good. And you don't have a love relationship anymore? No, anymore, no. Not with that person. Not with that person. Okay, very good. So you ended up, okay, very good. Five years ago, I used to have a love relationship. Very good, perfect. Kimberly, nowadays. Nowadays means hoy en día. ¿Qué hace hoy en día, Kimberly? Nowadays. Nowadays, I working. Very good. Nowadays, I'm working. Very good. Perfect. You see the present progressive, or we can use the present, right? I work. I work in a company, etc. Irma, these days, estos días, ¿qué está haciendo estos días, Irma? I do exercise. Very good. I do exercise. I do exercise. These days, I do exercise. Oh, I, or I exercise, but, but it's okay. I do exercise. Perfect. Marvin, these days, again. ¿Qué está haciendo Marvin estos días? Tell me something that, you, that you're doing right now in the present. I, I'm studying English. Very good. These days, I'm studying English. Perfect. Studying English. Let's go back with Tanya. In five years, in cinco años, ¿qué va a estar haciendo Tanya? ¿Dónde va a estar Tanya? In five years, Tanya? Yes, and it work in the call center, the fluency in English. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, in five years, I'll be working in a call center. Very good. Sorry. Okay, perfect. And now, Elida, we're going to finish with you. In 10 years, I might... Be, uh, I might... Mm... Being married with someone, I think, had a daughter or a son, maybe it's possible. Okay, being uh, I might be married with someone, and have and a had a daughter, had um few um a couple of sons, if possible, but it's not uh -huh. in my plan. Maybe not now. <laughs> okay, very good. It's not in your plans. Very good. A couple yeah. of children. In a couple years. of children. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. Perfect. So you see, uh, that's the way that we can talk about the future, right? 
Imagine Elida married and with a couple of children, right? And she <laughs> loves children. She loves children. You love children, right, Elida? No, for that reason, I have no children. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, but oh, I consider that in 10 years, I'm going to be with, I don't know, with more, I, I will be able to be a mother mm -hmm. without lose my mind, without mm -hmm. lose my mind in that, in that case, yeah. Yes, because you change, right? In 10 years, you're a different person. Uh, you change your mind and you change a lot of things. Yeah, prob yeah. probably. You will be a probably. very good mother. Oh, thank you so much, teacher. I don't okay. consider that, but if you think, if you believe in me, I think so. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> yeah, I believe. <laughs> okay, we are going to check the time contrast. As you already know, uh, this will be some of the words that we are going to use right for our homework. <laughs> Past in the past we used principles. We go. We used to go to libraries. We used to go to I don't know. We used to read a lot, and we used to have blackboards. Right in my school, we used to have blackboards and with chalk con yeso, and now that doesn't exist anymore. Right, in the present we have ebooks. Right, I am not used to uh, read ebooks, but people like it more and more ebooks right and it's cheaper right so más barato los ebooks que los de verdad and we have a lot of digital content right nowadays everybody as elida mentioned everybody wants to be a youtuber an influencer um i don't know a tiktoker yeah we have a lot of material and a lot of information it is kind of dangerous because information will be misinformation right so can be misguided so we have to be careful with the information we receive and in the future we will have virtual classrooms actually uh, we have a lot of virtual cl classrooms nowadays and learning pills i don't know about learning pills right but probably learning techniques uh, but it's okay learning feels like vitamins probably i don't know Work in the past, we have time clocks, right? Tenía que marcar uno de reloj, the time clocks. And as assembly line, es es línea de ensamblaje. Before, we didn't have machines, right? Antes no teníamos máquinas, so everybody was assembling everything, right? Nowadays, it's less, ahora es menos. Present career changes. Um, career changes probably means that uh, we we have to change careers, right? Uh, probably in the, in the past, um, engineering was not so popular, like um, like system engineering and things like that was not so popular. And nowadays, I guess that people are learning more things than before because before you used to be a doctor or just a nurse, and now you have to learn more things, right? I think you can have one una carrera extra que sea totalmente diferente a la que a la que uno ya tiene tiene que aprender di diferentes cosas so uh, it is kind of complicated now and we have multiple workplaces yes I, I probably that means that in the past we only have the the office right now we can work at home we can rent offices uh, people rent offices and we can work at different places that's what I believe um, in the future, we will have intelligent robots. We have robots nowadays, but they are not that intelligent, right? Like to perform different things. But in some countries, they are they are using uh, robots, like for delivering food, or I don't know. Uh, have you have you seen the robot that is in Seguro Social? Have you watched that video? That is kind of weird. In the Seguro Social, there is a a robot like taking tests and things like that. It's kind, it's kind of weird for me, but anyway. And it says that in the future, we will have a two hour work day. Probably, probably not, right? I, we don't know. We have to wait. I don't think so. I don't think so either, right? But people might think that. Uh, in the past, we have steam trains. As you can see, this is steam trains, ocean liners like the Titanic, as I mentioned before. Now we have non-polluting cars. Um, I guess that in some way we pollute anyway, even though if they are electrical cars, we pollute. And we have shared cars. In the future, 
we have driver driverless cars and teleportation. We don't know about that. That is the jets and los, los supersonicos, right? And uh, Irma said. Let's see if we have time. Yes. Now, um, this is a conversation about the future, right? And how two people talking about uh, how the city has has changed. And we are going to listen to it. Let me play it here. Vamos a escuchar, nada más para, para ver. It's a thing of the past. Um, can you listen to it? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Part A. I don't know why it's not charging, but let me see here. Listen and practice. I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, there were just houses around here. I know. They're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger Heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That's such a shame. Pretty soon, the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls. And maybe there won't be any schools anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't hang out with their friends after school? That's too bad. I enjoyed meeting our friends at that burger place after class. Seriously, that's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. Page 58. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Okay, we are going to listen to the rest of the conversation in a while. First of all, I want you to focus in the first part of the conversation, right? Um, what was the conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? What were they talking about? I already mentioned it, right? But I don't know if you have any other idea, any any other comment. About neighborhood. About the neighborhood, right? And the changes, right? Uh, what changes did they mention? What is happening there? The apartment and new kind of infrastructure around the zone. Exactly. They are building new apartments, right? And also a shopping mall, right? They are destroying, like, they are, yeah, they're destroying, like, uh, the the school and now they are going to build a shopping mall uh, do you have any question anything that you don't understand from this conversation or everything is clear everything is clear teacher Clear. Okay, perfect. So we are going to listen to the rest of the conversation. Vamos a ver. Eso no está aquí. It's just to listen, right? Just to check what else has changed in the neighborhood. Ahí van a mencionar otras cosas que, que cambiaron en el neighborhood. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a cell phone repair shop. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. What, what was uh, the other change that happened? 
¿Qué más cambió en la ciudad? ¿Qué más mencionar? Ajá. Uh, well, well, so, it was a, a bookstore or Ajá. something like that. And it was changing for a cell phone repair shop, something like that. Exactly, that's correct. Let's About please. the Thai restaurant next to it. And I love Great. Let me see here. Yes, it's here. Restaurant next to it. I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. Cell phone repair shop. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick, pick you up. Great. Yes, exactly. That was something that they mentioned about the, the repair mobile shop. And also yeah. a Thai restaurant, but the Thai restaurant is still there, right? They, yeah. That hasn't changed. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, it's like, a, I, I'll pay. It's on me. <laughs> yeah, it's on, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Um, yes, I think that many restaurants don't exist anymore. They were really good, some of them. But anyways, right? New things come and go. Now, I I want you to practice this conversation just to finish. I just need two, two people first and then other two people. And then we are going to check the pronunciation and that will be it. Uh, dos voluntarios para empezar a practicar la conversación, por favor. Two volunteers. Volunteers. Irma, okay, who's going to help Irma? Voy a empezar yo, teacher, no pronuncio bien, pero... Okay, so you will be Tom, and who's <laughs> going to help Irma? Uh, me, I'm going to help Irma, teacher. Okay, so you will be Mia, okay? Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, okay, okay, continue, continue. Okay, I hardly recognize all, all neighborhood a few years ago. There were just house around here. I know. They're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school hamburger heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower. And I hear they're tearing down our high school they're going to uh, build a shopping mall. That's such a sham. Pretty soon the neighborhood will just be a bunch of moist and maybe there won't be any air school anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So they won't hang out with their friends after school. That's too bad. I enjoy marrying our friends and the burger place after class. Seriously? That is a thing of the past nowadays. Kids only meet online. Very good. Perfect. Very good, Irma. Very good pronunciation. No problem. We are going to, to check the pronunciation tomorrow and also we are going to practice more. Other two, los últimos dos. The last two, practice the conversation. Alguien más? Marvin. Okay, Marvin will be Tom. Who wants to help Marvin? ¿Quién le quiere ayudar a Marvin? Me, teacher. Okay, Tania, you will be Mia. Go ahead, Marvin. I hardly recognize our old neighborhood a few years ago. There were just houses around here. I know. There is a building, a lot of the apartments, the wall of the neighbor's house, different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger Heaven. Of course. Now, it's another office tower. I am here they tell him the dome or high school. 
that is going to put at the shop in the mall. That's such a the same, a chain. Very soon the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls and maybe there won't be any school anymore. Probably no. He's going to study the project in computers anywhere they want. So they, so they won't hang, hang out with their friends after school. That's too bad. I enjoyed meeting our friends at the burger place after class. Serious? That's a time of the past. In other way, the kids only meet online. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Uh, what we're going to do is just to practice pronunciation, right? ¿Cómo practicamos la pronunciación? Repitiendo, right? Repeat, repeat, and listen. Listen and repeat. Repeat and listen. So to, tomorrow we are going to practice again this conversation just to check if we can better the pronunciation. I will read it. And also we are going to listen to it again. Solo la vamos a escuchar otra vez mañana, esta, esta parte. Y después vamos a practicar. Vamos a tratar de practicar más. I will read it uh, one time just for you to listen. And then tomorrow, um, probably we are going to better this pronunciation. It says, I hardly recognize our old neighborhood. A few years ago, there were just houses around here. I know they're building a lot of new apartments. The whole neighborhood's different. Remember the little burger restaurant we used to go to after school? Hamburger heaven? Of course. Now it's another office tower, and I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. That's such a shame. Pretty soon, the neighborhood will just be a bunch of malls, and maybe there won't be any schools anymore. Probably not. Kids will study from their computers anywhere they want. So, they won't hang out with their friends after school? That's too bad. I enjoy meeting our friends at the, that burger place after class. Seriously? That's a thing of the past. Nowadays, kids only meet online. So, we are going to listen to it again. Mañana la vamos a escuchar de nuevo. La vamos a leer de nuevo. La vamos a repetir. Y vamos a ver si podemos mejorar la pronunciation. Just to better pronunciation, right? But we are going to have more activities tomorrow. And remember that tomorrow we have this homework. Mañana esta tarea. Describan su ciudad. Eh, busquen por información de cómo era antes. Y ahora cómo es. Y cómo piensan que va a ser en el futuro. ¿Verdad? For example, I live in San Salvador. I live in Aguachapan. I live in San Miguel. I live in La Libertad. En qué cosas han cambiado. Antes usábamos carretas. Ahora usamos eh, autos. Y en el futuro, eh, no sé, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, carros espaciales o que vuelan. So, uh, that's a homework for tomorrow, okay? Do you have any question? Preguntas de la plataforma o algo? No questions? No question. No questions. Ok, perfect. So, remember, mañana el, la tarea y vamos a practicar un poquito más esa conversación. Así que I will hope to see you tomorrow and have a nice night, okay? See you. See you, see you tomorrow, tomorrow, teacher. Bye -bye. Tomorrow, no. Bye -bye. See you Monday, teacher, because tomorrow no. is Friday. Tomorrow we have class. <laughs> we I'm have sorry class for... tomorrow? Yes, I'm sorry for you. Oh, uh, okay. Well... <laughs> Well, anyway. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, Have a nice bye. night. See you tomorrow, Have a nice then. Night.